Hi there. So I promised to do a video about all the tools it takes for me to study for the bar exam. And um, just so you know, I am, I have a applying to take the bar at the end of July, 2015. Um, it's given two times a year. I have asked for accommodations. They've asked for more documentation, uh, which I've sent. So I'm waiting to hear back whether or not my request for accommodations will be accepted. If it's not, I can't take the bar exam. <laughs> um, I've asked for extra time because as people with Stargardt's know, it takes us a really long time to uh, read and um, reading is critical, especially when it comes to the performance test um, and uh, the MBEs, the evil MBEs that I hate so very, very much. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to show the tools that it takes for me to, um, to study for the bar exam and to take the bar exam and some of the accommodations I'm asking for uh, are inherent in this video. So um, one of the things I use, which I've shown before, um, and I'm doing this all by myself, is my desktop reader here. This is a uh, command station here. And um, this, uh, there we go. This desktop reader, mine is by Humanware, but there's lots of different versions. Um, you can move it around, you can lift it up and down. Um, oops, you can change it to white on black, black on white, or color. Um, you can put lines, um, you can move those. You can put boxes and move those. Um, I don't really use any of that stuff that much. Um, and you can magnify, of course, super huge, um, or that's the smallest it gets. I stay at about there. Um, it's got an XY table, and I can read super, super fast on this. Um, this is about 3000 bucks. It is not portable. <laughs> um, but I like the human one because it was HD at the time. Right now they have a couple of ones that are HD. Um, I like the crispness. Uh, if I'm looking and trying to see in my periphery, I want it as crisp as possible. Um, anyway, so that is my desktop reader that is being attacked by my cat. Um, anyway, the other thing that I use to study for the bar, and I think I've shown these before too, is I use the, this is by Enhanced Vision, it's called the the Pebble, this is the smaller version. I don't think they actually use this one anymore. Um, but you can see it magnifies things, um, and it would magnify the, the book. So, um, see that? It has a little handle on it. Let me try and do all this with one hand. Ah! There you go, see, little handle. Ta-da! Oh, that's probably not helpful. Um, so that is the pebble. Um, I use that if I'm like going to the library or if I'm in the store and I need to see something. It's it's handy out and about. Um, there's also the Amigo, which is kind of a bigger version of the pebble. Um, uh, uh, Enhanced Vision also sells that. Um, I like that. Both of those are really hard for me to track the lines when I'm going back and forth. So I don't use them a whole lot. Uh, but they are helpful on the go. Other bar prep study tools, I use a lot of audio CDs. Since my vision has degenerated, um, my hearing and my ability to remember what I hear has grown. So I listen to a lot of CDs. I take notes on audio CDs. I use a lot of Sum and Substance and Masterclass. Um, you can also get those on your iPhone or iPad. Um, but this is my new baby. Where is it? There... There it is. This is the Visio book. And again, I'm going to try and do this with one hand. I don't think I'm going to be able to. So hold on. Ah, it's the size of a laptop. It's actually a little bit bigger. And this part I think I can do with one hand. It just unfolds. And what I like about this, it's not like the desktop readers that you can get um, that you have to unpack and plug in. This is portable. I think the battery lasts about five and a half hours. You can turn it on. And um, boom, you have a portable desktop reader. Come on, baby. Oh, it has a camera so you can see across the room. Um, but then you can bring it down and look at your book and or your file or whatever you're looking at. Can you see that? Um, you can make it bigger like that. Um, ooh, it's sliding. Or you can make it smaller. You can adjust the brightness. Um, I think you can... Oh, there, you can put it white on black. Um, 
So this thing is fantastic. And my thought was, again, see how it just folds up? It really is, I'm gonna take the book out of there. It really is portable and easy and um, unobtrusive. I don't like to call a lot of attention to the fact that I'm visually impaired. Not that I'm ashamed of it, but just I don't want it to be a thing. So when I go into a courtroom or if I'm doing depositions or something, I don't want to draw attention to myself. I just want to be able to look um, competent <laughs> and uh, like I got this. So, um, so that's what I use there. Um, the other thing I use is Barmax and Barmax comes on, you can load it onto an iPad. It's only Apple format or Macintosh or whatever, Apple. And um, it comes on, you can put it on your iPhone or an iPad. Um, it is relatively cheap. And as we all know, the, um, see, I can do this one-handed as well. The, uh, for, you can, it's so disability friendly because you can just do the three finger tap and slide and look how big you can make that lettering. It's pretty awesome. The other thing is it has an audio lecture. I've also taught law in several law schools. So you Stanford can listen to that. You can put it on headphones. You can take it with you everywhere. I know some people who have just studied with Barmax and they love it. Um, it has a pretty decent pass rate. Um, but I, I, I am going to use Barmax. I have a friend actually who just took the bar and she's going to get her results in a week. Um, she studied with Barmax, Adapt a Bar. And um, baressays.com, I think, were her three tools. I'm going to use Barmax, Adaptabar, and Themis Bar Review. Um, uh, Themis Bar Review is a spin off of Barbary, uh, and it's like an online version. It's a heck of a lot cheaper than Barbary, um, but seems to have a pretty decent pass rate as well, and is really user friendly for my visual impairment, which I liked. When I tried to talk to Barbary about it and adapting their timeline so I could have more time, they were not all that flexible, and I did not appreciate that. Um, so you also know um, how, um, let's see, I wanna show you. We know that the Mac um, is really user-friendly. Um, I, I have to use two hands here. Um, if I push down a function key and slide up, I don't know if I can do that, with two fingers. Here, I'm gonna do it while you're not looking. Oh, look, I can make everything really large on my Mac. So see how big it gets? I can make it even bigger. Um, the other thing I like about Mac is it's disability built-in friendly. And although they've screwed up their new version of Pages, so now you have to go to edit and speech and make it talk to you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this has been quite the journey. You can use we are um, speech to text where you or text to speech. To take action. And that to me is really helpful um, because I read so slowly. So for like Adaptabar, the performance test, anything I can get on my computer, and I have a MacBook Pro that does all this, um, then I can have it read to me and that is so much faster. I can hear it so much better. That was actually um, my saving grace for taking the MPRE, the legal ethics exam, was the fact that I could make it read to me. Um, the other thing I use, I use Dragon Dictate. Um, and I use a headphone and that's how I take notes. Um, that's how I make my outlines, and also um, I use it to write my essays. The other thing I do, which is visually impaired friendly, which I've learned, is I use multiple colored pens. Um, so for me, because of quick reference, one of my biggest fears was, what if I can't see my notes and I'm in court and I need to reference something real quick? So I'm going to show you. Um, I use different colors. So these are all different witnesses for a trial, the mock trial that I'm doing, and they're all in different colors so that I can quick reference notes I took about them. And um, I can do that, uh, different classes are different notes, different subjects are different notes. Um, I use different color highlighters. Um, so I, I'm a very colorful person. Um, and I, I use a lot of that stuff. I also use a lot of flags and tabs uh, to see quick notes and quick references. And I think that's going to help me when I do become a lawyer, um, be able to make quick references. I will tell you guys, um, if anyone's visually impaired and thinking about going to law school or is in law school, uh, one of my professors is an assistant DA in LA County. And he said out of 25 assistant DAs, two of them are legally blind. Um, so there are jobs for us out there. Uh, he said the private sector is a lot harder 
But um, working for the county and the state, uh, you get assistance, um, the whole thing. I don't know, uh, you know, where I'm going to end up, but uh, that gave me a lot of hope. A lot of hope. And he said a lot of them use a lot of assistive technology. One guy has one guy who just follows him around and reads to him and whispers in his ear all day. So that would be really cool. Uh, anyway, so those are the basic tools I'm using in order to see, not just to do law school, but also to take the bar exam. Um, I need to be able to use the text-to-speech. for That's one of the accommodations I requested. I also need to be able to use the ability to magnify. So they have to work that out with the software company, ExamSoft. Um, and, uh, and I asked for additional time. Those are, I think the major ones that I requested. So that's what it takes for me to study for the bar exam and to take the bar exam. Um, if anyone has any questions on the technology, uh, none of this is cheap. Obviously it's all pretty pricey, um, in, in various levels. Um, it is not cheap to be a blind lawyer, <laughs> but that's what it takes. So, um, it, that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye.